Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, giving you a Hurricane Ophelia update on Saturday, October 14th at 7.24 p.m. Mountain Time. I'm going to run this through till Monday morning. This is the current windy model. And it shows an, a hurricane that is having trouble staying together because of all these other energies. But it's going to be gaining energy here Monday morning and kind of really organize here about 3 a.m. back into a Cat 3 here. And it's going to slam into the coast of Ireland around 10 a.m. on the southwestern tip. Now, you guys in U the UK, you're not going to be really that hit from this storm. Let me tell you about the storm dynamics. We know a lot about them in the U.S. The major winds are up here in this region here in the northeastern quadrant of the storm. And the major flooding is going to happen on the southern coasts here of the UK mostly on the southern coast of Ireland. Now, you guys won't get flooding until the storm passes you on the west coast of Ireland because you need the onshore wind to hit you. So the eye has to pass you before the onshore wind can allow flooding to happen. But as this comes up tomorrow morning on Monday, or, yeah, Sunday night and to a Monday morning, you're going to start to see increased flooding in Ireland here, and you're going to have a huge storm surge. We'll just run it through. The water gets real cold real quick. So as soon as it makes landfall, and it's showing a double eye at this point, sometime around 10, 11 a.m. on Monday, there'll be a two-eye formation, according to this model, and massive flooding. And this is this entire... Uh, Waterway here between the UK and Ireland is going to be very dangerous to travel. And the flooding here on the southern coast could be record setting. Now, this isn't an odd storm, per se. Uh, if you, and I'm sure the mass media is claiming it over there that this is some historical storm. But we could just go quick and take a look at a bunch of things. I'm going to leave you links to Sunday Express here. This is live coverage. And it gives you every single link you need to get live footage of what the storm is doing. I'll leave you links to that. I'll also leave you uh, links to Hurricane Ophelia direct hit on UK National Hurricane Center issues high alert for Brits. If Ireland is part of the UK, it is a direct hit. It's not going to hit you guys over here on the main island. It's just not going to. It's not a direct hit for you guys. And I'll just bring this back. You can see what their forecast models show. The low coming in here. Follow it. It's at 1,000 millibars. Drops to 999. 98, 97, 96, 93. And here she comes. Nine sixty three. Nine sixty five. So that's what you're looking for, a 965 storm, maybe a low-end Cat 3. So that's their model. And how often does Britain get hit by hurricanes from live science? This is an article came out in 2011. It's a great article. It tells you about uh, the history of hurricanes from 1851 to present. I'll also leave you a link to the Wikipedia on the subject. Now, if you look at, quick, look, take a look here, you're going to find that there was some hurricanes during the, Maunder Min, during the Maunder Minimum here. And then the hurricanes didn't start back up until the Glassberg Minimum and after the Dalton Minimum. So there was some major activity during the 1850s here during this first drop. And then in the 1880s again during the Glassberg Minimum. So right after we come off of... Uh, Solar maximum cycles during the drop down into a more minimum cycle seems to be when these hurricanes hit Ireland. So we're seeing a cycle uh, repeat itself. And we're in a similar 
size cycle is the same time how other hurricanes have hit Ireland, according to the sun. So I'll leave you all these dates. Then if you take a look, there's been pretty regular hits every few years. Since then, with a ramping up in the 90s, especially in the 2000s and late 90s. And this is because the Atlantic multi-decadal oscillation has ramped up during that time. These are all related. Now, what you're seeing here is a map of all the tropical cyclones in history that have come and hit uh, Europe up here. And you can see the majority of them come and screw with the UK. Very few in Iceland. There's a couple major ones hitting Portugal here in Spain. But the majority of them come up here to the UK. Look at this. There's about 100 in here. So I'll leave you links to that map. So whatever that says, we're not going to get into it. But I'll take, uh, I don't know if you guys have access to the Atlantic Hurricane Center. They're still going to be tracking this storm for you guys in the UK. Here's the current model at 5 p.m. Saturday. This is, has not been updated. This is the newest update, and it shows landfall right here at about 10 a.m. on Monday morning on the southwestern tip of Ireland, and then quickly dropping to a tropical storm by 2 p.m. on Monday. It's a fast-moving storm, so that's another thing working for you. You're only going to have flooding here for 12 to 24 hours. It'll quickly be by. So I'll leave you links to the U.S. Hurricane for Forecast Center right now. Uh, Advisory 23 has this storm with sustained winds at less than 39 miles per hour. Maximum sustained winds at 115. Here are the wind speed probabilities. So there's a 90% chance of tropical storm force winds for the entire western half of Ireland here. So that's a heads up. You guys are going to get blown apart here in this storm according to the wind chart. So that's one thing we can do, give you a heads up about, wind advisories. Um, there are some other maps in here uh, as far as the storm surge. Let me see if I can find the storm surge maps. For Ophelia. Morning cones and statics. Experimental arrival of time of winds. Sunday, 8 p.m., Monday, 8 a.m. This is wrong, folks. You're going to be getting high winds here by 10 a.m. on the southwestern coast. All right, well, I won't waste your time much more here. I'll leave you with the tropical wind force. I'll leave you with the links to all this. I'll leave you with the history. You guys are in for a quick storm here coming Monday morning on the southwestern coast, probably coming in at Cat 2. You can have sustained winds a little over 100, mile, 100 miles an hour in this area, quickly dropping down the rest of the day. But the entire western half of Ireland is expected to sustain tropical force winds, flooding on the entire southern coast. So it's just a heads up. And as this eye wall moves past you, the flooding is going to move up these inlets and rivers on the west coast. So it's a heads up on that. This is not an odd storm. It's related to the temperature of the Atlantic Ocean, and this has happened many times in the past. So hunker down. Monday morning it's coming. Be safe.